Welcome to Bookkeeping DIY. So it's been a minute. It's been such a crazy season. We've been so busy and unable to do these videos. Um, but we are back and we've received so many requests from you guys asking that we do um, sort of like a series for startup businesses on the things that one should consider before you register your business and before you even start being operational. So today we on this video, we'll be focusing on the things that you have to consider before you register your business. So I hope this video, you'll find it very helpful. Um, so let's get into it. So the first thing that you need to consider is a business name. So in choose, when choosing a business name, you have to make sure that it's not confusing for your target customers. So it's easy for people to just read the name and have an idea what um, services you are offering or what goods you are selling. Let's, let's just make an example. If you are selling phones um, and you call your business global phones, right? Um, it's easy for any individual who's looking for to buy a phone or to fix a phone to just browse through your company page or read through your advertisement if they are looking for such a service. And, um, and a wrong example of a business name will be calling your business, like your business trending clothing when you are selling baby clothes and for a mom like me who's looking to buy onesies, they might never consider walking into that shop because purely because of the business name. So it's very important to choose the right company name. It also serves as a, a free marketing um, tool to have the right business name. The second thing to consider is your location where you want your business to be located. Um, it should be easy for customers to locate your business. Just make sure you, you have your business where your cust target customers are. Um, it should be accessible for them and for your employees as well. It should um, have security. It should be a secure place for your assets, for yourself and your employees. It should, you, then the other thing to consider is um, the cost, especially if you'll be renting offices. Um, it should be offices that you can really afford to the rent. And um, yeah, so the location is very, very important before you register your business. <clears throat> the next, the third thing to consider is what business structure. Um, we have two categories um, under business structure that we often refer to. It's um, the informal and the formal. And under informal, you have your sole proprietorship and partnerships. And under formal, you have your, L your LLC and um, corporations. So now let's just look at the informal business structures, which is your sole proprietorship and partnerships. These ones work well when you are want to manage risk and you are not sure of the business venture you want to go into. And um, they also work well if you if you are the brand, especially sole proprietorship, if you are the brand of the business. If, for instance, if the owner of the business dies and the the business will die with them. So it will be best to open a sole proprietorship. And um, if, let's say, for instance, you're a content creator or, yes, or web designer, you can have a, a, a business, and but essentially you are the business. So you, you, you consider registering as a sole proprietor or a partnership if you really are the business and without you, because most of the time people partner with people, they, they don't buy uh, a service, they buy a person. So if 
you are the face of your business, then you might consider registering a, either as a sole proprietor or as a partnership. And then the other two that we mentioned before, which are more formal, it's like your limited liability companies or your corporation. These ones are work well if um, you want to limit uh, your liability. So they they these they separate the line be, between personal and business um, transactions. And in a in a in a in a corporation it. A corporation works well if you are looking to raise money from a venture capital or you want to list in the stock exchange. So, yes. And um, before you decide on the structure, you must carefully evaluate the nature of your business. Um, like I've, I mentioned before, if you are the face of the business, if people would really want to work with me, I can have the name, but people who want to work with me, then you might consider a, a, a having a partnership or a sole proprietorship. Um, and you also have to consider the vision for the, like your, your, your vision for the future, what where you want to take your business to. If you are planning to go international, sole proprietorship might not work for you. Or if you were looking to go to investors to ask for, um, capital like to get capital through the stock exchange or shareholders then you have to consider registering your business as a corporation and you have to consider your ability to comply with regulatory requirements like your taxes because the more you you go formal the more the tax requirements are more complex. So you need to consider your ability to be able to comply with SRA requirements, for instance. And um, also the fourth thing to, to consider before deciding on a structure, you have to consider um, your admin costs because the, the license fees for the different um, business structures, they vary from Obviously, a corporation would be more expensive. The, the license fees would be more expensive compared to a sole proprietor. Um, so you need to consider that as well as you start your business. And as you, as you cons like, also know that you can always change, like from, though it will cost you money, but you can always change your business from a, a sole proprietor to maybe an LSC later in future when you have grown. Um, also, you have to consider asset protection, which is what I had mentioned before, which is like the line between your personal and the business. Because for, for a sole proprietor, if the business, for instance, is owing someone and it has to be liquidated for some reason, there is no line like your assets, the your assets will be taken to cover for the business debt. But if it's a limited liability, there is a line where this only the business will pay for the business uh, debts. Um, so you need to consider that as well. And also the last thing to consider is taxation like the cost of the tax, like I had mentioned, like when you have to comply with regulatory requirements, the cost of um, taxation, like the rates at which they charge tax, because a sole proprietor is, is pays tax as an individual because it's just you. So if you're making money, it depends on the brackets, how much you'll be making. So the tax rate for individuals, it's, it's around 33%. Yet, when you have registered a, a business like a, an LLC, you'll be paying 27.5%. So those are other things that you have to consider when you choose uh, a business structure. So, but if you are going to operate on a really small scale of freelance, then sole proprietorship or partnership is sufficient. However, if you have big plans for growth, plan to, maybe you plan to employ more people, um, or your business involves more risk, then it's advisable to choose a limited liability company or an, a corporation. I hope um, that's all for, for, for today. I hope this helps.
uh, please keep the comments coming please do like share the video with other people that need it um, and also contact us uh, on our details um, if you have more questions or you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with us thank you very much um, see you next time